nothing to say, guys. Do I need to tell you I'm at Sally's Abbey? I said it right that time. Last time I was here, I really screwed that up. I'm at Sally's uh, Pizza. I'm at Sally's uh, Pizza. Abbey's. Abbey's. There's nothing to say, guys, except for let's go eat. My goodness, two and a half hours to get here from Staten Island. I get off the exit and I'm greeted with this. And I'm greeted with this. I put the order in as I was driving. My, 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 I'm starstruck. I am starstruck, guys. Starstruck. That is a legendary pizza right there, guys. I put the order in as I was driving because I wasn't sure if I would get there. I mean, I knew I would get there in time before they closed, but I don't. I didn't know if there was a three-hour wait or whatever. Uh, turns out they put the order in. And she was nice enough to shout out to the girl that works at Sally's and answers the phones, man. What a sweetheart. Uh, funny as hell. And she put the order in, uh, you know, for 8 o'clock because I told her I was 40 minutes away. Oh, and it, it just came out of the oven. It just came out. It just came out. This is their tomato pie. I can smell it already. That was one of the most unique bites of pizza that I've taken all year. That was one of the most, let me say it again, unique bites of pizzas that I've taken all year. I got it standard bake. You can get it well done or you can get it light. I got it medium. Like candy, guys. It's like candy. The sauce is so perfect. Perfect. That slice went down so fast. Gotta grab another one, man. Oh my god. I want I want two at a time. Now you don't fold a pie like a slice like this, so I forgot to do the crackle test. You hear that? Oh my god, do you hear that, guys? Listen. Phenomenal pizza. It's not leoparding char. This reminds me of the char you see like in Naples. This reminds me of the char you see like in Naples on a sorbillo pie. It's not leoparding. It's not leopard skin char, but it's kind of like a lacy char, you know? Look at all that sauce. Look how much sauce is on this pizza. True definition of a tomato pie, guys. All right, you want a tomato pie? Come to Sally's. I got her in my lap, look at that. I got I got her in my lap. I feel like, I feel like I'm in, like, like it's Christmas morning. You know when you're like 13 years old, 14? Christmas morning, that's the feeling. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Delicious sauce, delicious. As a matter of fact, I, it's like a life event today. I feel like it's my wedding day or something. It's like a life event whenever I come to Sally's. I don't know what it feels like on a wedding day. I never got married, but I would imagine this is what it would feel like on my wedding day. <laughs> All right, guys. Into the lab we go. Time to analyze and dissect this legend before us. It's a very simple pizza, guys. You may not have heard uh, the crisp when I was eating it. Perhaps you're wondering, hmm, why isn't it crunchy? Guys, this is a naturally fermented, uh, kind of like sourdough, okay? Uh, it's naturally fermented, and it's on the chewy side, and however, it's a very delicate chew, extremely delicate chew. It's not... Uh, an airy pizza. We all want airy. Airy, 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 airy. Where is the air pockets? Where is the crunch? This is a different experience, guys. There's some crunch towards the back. And there's plenty of soot 
on the fingertips to make a coal fired fan happy in all the right places. This is a family show. I'm going to, you know, be careful with my words. I want to say some things right now, but I can't. I'm keeping it a family show, guys. Look at this. Oh, my Lord. The flavor of that chard. It, a lot of you guys who think, uh, oh, salad is burned. New Haven pizza is burned. It's always burned. It's always burned. It's not burned. Char is flavor, guys. It tastes a little bitter. It's a big difference between tasting burned and tasting bitter. All right? The oven is ancient. And so the flavor of this bread, you know, when, when, when you bake a pizza in a seasoned coal oven like the one in Sally's. All right? I'm assuming they're still using atrocyte. Uh, as for, oh, my God. Look at that char. Look at this thing. Madonna mia. Jesus. Part of my language. Oh my lord, this is incredible. It's so delicate, it melts in your mouth. It's one of the best crusts I've ever had, and there's nothing else like it. Pepe's is a lot different. I don't know what they're doing at Pepe's. Pepe's is a little airier. Uh, at least, you know, if I recall, I haven't had it in a while, it was a little airier. Oh my lord, look at that sauce, guys. It's It's perfect. Look at the tomato seeds, guys. Look at all the tomato seeds. No sourness. Naturally sweet. Pulpy. Not exactly a silky sauce. I would consider this uh, chunky. I would consider this a chunky sauce. It's not the chunkiest. You know, it's not the chunkiest like the Fara, but it's chunky and it tastes phenomenal. The flavor, that naturally sweet tomato flavor contrasts with that bitterness on the back. And you get this wonderful contrast of flavors. It's like a symphony in the mouth. And then you get a little bit of that grated Parmesan cheese. Which I forgot to ask for packets. I think I would have liked a little more Parmigiano sprinkled on this thing. But uh, there's some. There's some. It even caramelized a little bit over there. Look at that. Parmesan cheese. I think this is the slice I'm going to have next. And, you know, gives it a nice sweet and salty vibe. From the cheese and the, uh, you know, the salty Parmigiano and the sweet sauce. You get sweet and salty, and you get sweet and slight bitter. And then the taste of that bread from that seasoned cold oven. It's, uh, oh, expertise in the flesh, guys, right in front of your eyes. Check that out, guys. You can see some Parmigiano. You could always ask for more if you want more. I think a, a, a nicer dusting would have been uh, would have been nice, but a minor gripe, guys, a minor gripe. All right, the pizza gets cold. We give it another fold. It's floppy. You know, it's the way they cut the pizza, too. New Haven, that's how they roll. They cut the pizza in a million slices. Uh, it's like a drunk guy cut the pizza. You know, you get a skinny slice, you get a fatter slice, you get a wider slice. Um, and the pie itself is quirky. Go oh, catch my, uh, I've reviewed Sally's before. I've reviewed their mozzarella. This is their signature, guys. Signature. Uh, this is their their classic. All right, when they first started making pizzas here, this is what they were making. My grandmother, when she makes pizza, she only used to put grated cheese. She didn't put mutts. She didn't put mutts. It's just what, you know, what was always in the house. Hard cheese. It lasted longer. It was always in the house. That's what, that's what they used to make pizza with. That's how my grandmother did it. And I'd imagine that... Uh, the tradition continued here. It's floppy, but again, you're not. It's like a Neapolitan. You're not coming here for the crisp, guys. You're coming here for the quality. Like I said, it's a delicate, chewy crust. It's not something that you got to chew a million times and it, you know, gets stuck to the roof of your mouth. No, this stuff goes down like it melts like butter. That bread, it melts like butter. Again, shout out to the girl at Sally's. One of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. They're so friendly here in New Haven. This girl was a doll. She liked, liked my shirt. And she was even nice enough to take a selfie of me. I mean, who does that? In New York, they're like, all right, here's your pie. Give me the money. Have a great day. I told her I'm coming in from Staten Island. She was like, oh, I went to college there. I should have told her I was reviewing the, the pizza. But, um, yeah, she wound up going to college there. She's like, I fell in love with bagels. In Staten Island, <laughs> but she didn't say the pizza though. She said the bagel. She didn't say the pizza. Hey, look, I don't blame them for being biased. Cool people out here, man. 
really reminds me of Brooklyn. You got the stoops. Got the stoops. The people behind me. I don't know if you can see them. They, they sound like they're from Brooklyn. They got the same accent so up here. Let's rate this. What do you think I'm going to give it? What can you really... Seriously. You know, if you saw my other review, the one with the mozzarella cheese, not this pie. I rated the one with the mozzarella cheese. I gave it a monster score. Uh, this is going to be better than that, guys. I'm going 9-1. 9-1. I'm going 9-1. It's... Less is more. The sauce, you get more sauce. If you're a sauce guy, you're going to be in heaven. And you get the Parmesan cheese instead of the mozzarella. You know, it makes the sauce stand out. A little saltiness from the cheese. Again, sweet, salty, sweet, bitter. Great char. Excellent. Perfectly cooked. If you think this is burned, you're missing out on some joys, guys, that you haven't experienced yet. Believe me, you got to try this. You got to try it. Come on down, 9.1, this is a pizza that you drive two hours for. It's a legend, it's a legend. Get the tomato pie, I'm telling you. I know you guys love cheese, we all do. And there's cheese on here, it's not like there's no cheese. This is all about their sauce, and they are putting it right in your face and saying, look how quality this tomato sauce is. Oh, guys, that about wraps it up for Sally's, my part two review. I am going to my hotel. I may go get another pizza. <laughs> I'm here for three days, guys, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to be reviewing a lot of, a lot of pizza uh, this week. I'm going to be reviewing a lot of good pizza this week, guys. Until next time, guys, keep those bellies full, preferably with some pizza like this that you drive two and a half hours for. Sally's, baby. That's right. The one and only. Be well. Hit that like, subscribe that button. I mean, whatever. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, this is Antonio signing off.